Hey guys, and I'm Rob. And I'm Michael. And today we're going to be doing a dual tutorial, my idea, um, on Blender 2.5 Beta. This one's going to be on um, creating a grass simulation. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is on, um, you get the default cube here, you're going to press X and then click delete to get out of that. And then press shift A and go to add mesh plane. And then press S and then type 10. Type up 10 blender units and then um, press tab to go into edit mode. Press W subdivide and then you'll get this option down here, which is subdivide. You've got number of cuts and then smoothness and fractal. So I'm going to set the number of cuts up to 8, but you can set as many as you want. And fractal is going to go up to about um, 2 point something or other. And this is going to make it like a random sort of shape and now press W again they've got the subdivide smooth and do that about two times if, if you find it hard to keep up pause it for a bit and then continue you don't really know a lot about Blender do you? not really imagine that this is like about the first time you've ever seen it yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway you can do that as many times as you like but um the more time you do it, the slower your computer is going to be. And I'm recording, so um, I've got to keep the file size down quite a bit. Now you press tab to come out of um, edit mode, go back into object mode, and you can see you've got like, it's all pixelated and stuff. Uh, to fix that, just go over here in the object tool section and then go to smooth, and I'll just smooth it out for you. See if we just go into texture view, that'll smooth it out for you. So now we're going to add the um, grass onto it. So if you just drag this little bar out, oh fuck, if you just drag this little bar out over here. And uh, you see this little cluster of stars, you want to click that, and that's particle systems. You want to click add. Now, if you press play from here, you'll see you just get loads of little particles falling off it because we haven't set it to play for um, grass yet. Um, so under here where it says type, you want to click hair. That'll give us a sort of grassy sort of shape. And um, on the emission tab, in the amount, you can change that to add more grass as you see fit. I'm going to add about 1,500 just to keep the file size down for recording. And um, I'm going to keep it random. On Down here, you've got random and even distribution. You can play around with these settings if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to set it to random. Now, um, just gonna cut out of that. And now in um, velocity, this doesn't really matter either, except the normal is how high you are, how tall your grass is. Um, now I'm just gonna make it about this tall. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna make it about this tall, and um, that should be about it from there. And now the only th options we're gonna, pre gonna mess with today are physics and render. Now in the physics, uh, you've got the Brownian forces, where that just makes it curved. And you've got a damp as well, which puts like a dampening on it, which pushes it down, make it look back, like a bit crushed. And you've got three consulfarines, but they don't really mean anything right now. But in the render tab, um, we can change. You can change stuff about in here, like the start and end point. I'm just going to set the end point down a bit. There you go. A couple bit. There you go. So uh, now we're going to go into the children menu and children means that each one of these little hairs is going to have a certain number of children in it um, and this means that it's easier for processing because Blender thinks it's only about a rent, they basically copy whatever the parents are doing which makes the um, whole rendering process a lot smoother. So we're going to set the children to faces and we get this, my computer's going to go pretty slow here and we get this come up. So, I'm just going to move the camera out a bit and move the light up a bit as well. Stop it. Move, you fucker. Um, let's move the camera. I'll tell you another um, meat trick as well. Uh, I'm just going to set my 3D cursor back to the center. There you go. Alright, just set it back to the center. Press Shift A and go to Add Empty, 
that's gonna then just size it up so you can actually see it now if you click on the camera first and then hold down shift and click on the empty and press ctrl T and go to track to constrain now whenever you move the camera around um, it's always going to say focus on that point that was a light sorry so now you can move the camera around it's always going to say focus on that on that point anyway so let's go do render image hopefully it'll do it this time without breaking down like we did last time it pretty much happened every time Alright, it wasn't, it wasn't rendering, but oh well, you can get the gist of it. Um, tech, I'm not really going to bother about texturing this right now. Um, you can hopefully do that yourself. I'll just check out all the tutorials. But that's all from me. And Michael. And comment, rate, subscribe for more. Goodbye.